I swear if one more thing goes wrong, I'm gonna go crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and we are barefaced because we're gonna be doing a video that I just thought about just now since the whole chaos of my life has happened. All the videos that I filmed since last week, they're all unusable. There's no sound. Now I'm even doubting if this has got sound. I'm just so like... Oh, if one more thing goes wrong, I swear. So today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me, but with makeup that is not mine. Disclaimer, the makeup that is not mine is my sister's. Okay, hi, I just woke up. We're okay with sharing makeup. I just use my own brushes, my own sponges, but we're sisters, so. So she's got two makeup bags. I, I did give her a bunch of makeup in Christmas time, so I kind of have an idea, but I do not know what to expect. And so we're gonna have to work with what we got, basically. We're gonna open this up and... Oh, she's got an elf primer? Did I give her this? Oh yeah, I got this for her. I got this for her, that's why. So my sister isn't like the, the biggest makeup fan. She likes to do things everyday, simple. Sometimes she doesn't even wear makeup. And I'm more of the makeup person in the family. It will be interesting to use her stuff. There's a lifter gloss in here, which I love. I think I got her on this. There's a, a Misha BB cream, but she's a little more fair toned than I am, so we're not gonna use that one. There's an H&M ma makeup setting spray. Okay. And, ooh, I haven't seen this in a while. This is a very old Maybelline mascara. Do they even sell this still? I'm not sure. So we're not gonna use any of my makeup. Maybe, say, for lashes, because she does not wear falsies, so she won't have any of those. Ooh, she's got a uh, It Cosmetic CC Cream. I'm gonna use this, mm-hmm. Wow, she's got a full bottle of the Tower 28 SOS. This is a great spray. Oh, and she also got the Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX. So we're going in with the first product, which is primer, and this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with Niacinamide. So I actually gave this to her a while back and I totally forgot that I did because if I didn't I would have used it. I do have the original power grip primer from e.l.f. without the niacinamide and I just choose to use that because I already have niacinamide in my skincare routine so I don't think I need more niacinamide. I have not really used this one in particular extensively but I do enjoy the original power grip and I love how like sticky it is I used to be super oily everywhere, and now I'm less oily everywhere, more oily in the T-zone, and more dry on the cheeks, so my skin has evolved to become more combination. So this is in the shade Fair, and this is in the shade oh, Warm Vanilla. Wow, it's not even pumping, that's how old it is. Really? Or is the pump just broken? It's not pumping. Okay, so I can't pump that one, so I guess we're gonna go with the CC Cream by IT Cosmetics. It is a little bit, it seems like it's my shade actually. It's a little bit fair. I like the CC creams because they have SPF and you know how you're supposed to be reapplying your SPF throughout the day, I don't do that. But it's nice if you have um, a cosmetic product that already has SPF, so if you reapply, you don't really have to think about how to reapply. Imagine trying to reapply lotion all over top of all your makeup. Because of hygienic purposes, I'm gonna be using my own brushes. This is a brush from Sephora, it's the number 70, I believe. Yeah, it's the foundation brush, and I love this brush, especially for foundation that is more liquidy. This is a more thick foundation, though. I have not ever used the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It almost feels like a full-blown foundation because of how thick it is. So the shade is very fair. I can already tell it's pulling pink on me. I guess I'm just going to try and balance out the shade with bronzer later. The thing is, I'm not sure if she has any bronzer. Um, yeah, so we're gonna figure that out later. It's giving me good coverage. Again, I've never used a CC cream before, but I kind of want a little bit more. I'll just put a little more over on where I have more pigmentation and acne scarring. I mean, if you look at it, it looks great. So next, concealer. Okay, so she has a few concealers and I actually gave her this e.l.f. concealer. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer, but it looks pretty old. I'm gonna have to toss this out for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has two more, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop and the Revlon Candid Concealer, but obviously already the NYX one is too fair for me. This is in the shade Alabaster. It's gonna be too light. 
So I'm gonna go with the Candid Concealer in Fair. Of course, it's gonna be fair. But I think that this is gonna be less fair than the NYX one. We'll see on my skin. Oh yeah, the NYX one's almost like white. So I'm gonna go with this Candid Concealer by Revlon. So I've never actually also used this. I, I think I gave this to her for Christmas one time. It's actually a good color. I think it's a little bit more yellow than the foundation. So I'm just using my Sephora number 71 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes of all time. I loved how it's like tapered to one side. Honestly, I hardly ever use sponges anymore just because I'm so lazy to wash them. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a bunch of dryness over here, which is strange. I'm curious why the concealer is hanging on to my dry patches, but it's okay. We're gonna set this with powder. Um, does she have powder? Okay, she's got some loose powder. This is the Nude by Nature Loose Powder in Classic Beige. I've never really used Nude by Nature before. I'm curious to see how it will make my under eyes look, so. So I'll let that stay in for a while until it sets, and then um, while we wait for that to set, we can do our brows. I know that my sister likes to use the little brow pomade from Sephora that they don't even sell anymore. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna figure out what she does have. Oh, she's got the ABH Dip Brow. This is in medium brown. Jackpot. Okay, so I can use this. Okay, she needs to have a brush. Yeah, no, um, hold on. Found one. Okay, I found a brush. This is the Angle Definer Brush by H&M. I have to say, H&M has really good brushes. She's never used this before, as I expected. Look at that. It's completely clean. It's it's untouched. Like she hasn't used this. <sighs> oh, my skin is actually looking really nice. That CC cream as it melts into the skin, it looks really nice. So let me just brush away that powder cuz I'm looking funky. Oh, that looks horrible. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but the powder and the concealer do not like each other. It is too late. We're going with it. I know she picked this up during the Sephora sale cuz I was with her. And I've never really used the dip brow before, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Ooh, that's actually a really good brush. So I don't actually know what else she has in there with regards to brow products. I'm happy she has this. So I'm just gonna try to keep them as related to each other as possible. Okay, so she doesn't have any kind of brush, spoolie or pencil, or something that sets the brows. Ooh. She's got this. What's this? Oh, she's got the Sephora Insta Brow Waxy Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Rich Chestnut. Oh, I remember this one. She said she got this while she was buying her stuff and she never actually meant to buy it. I think the lady scanned someone else's product that was on the table. She just kept it. I'm not mad at it actually. I, I like it. I didn't think it was a brow product because of how fat it was. So she doesn't have any brow gel. So I'm just gonna try my best to brush my brows upwards and hopefully the brow pomade kind of keeps it up there. It doesn't look even. They don't look like sisters. They look more like cousins. So we're done with the brows. Now we're gonna go with eyeshadow and I know she's got an eyeshadow palette here somewhere. She's got two eyeshadow palettes. This is the Flower Beauty Gimme Gold and then this is the Sephora Destination. So it's either these like grungy purples or these like golds and browns and I mean look how pretty. So we're gonna go with this. So we're gonna go in with the fourth shade from the row and use that all over the crease. We're gonna keep it simple. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that. That was so easy. I didn't even do much. Look at that, wow. This formula is great. Next, we're going in with the second to the last shade, which is like a darker brown. Focus that on the outer edge of my eye. Put up later. And then now we're gonna go in with maybe a gold, like this one over here, which is a nice gold, and we'll use our fingers for this to put all over the eye. Okay, I really like that one. So we're not done with this. We still have to put our inner corner highlight, but we're gonna do that later. I need to use a smaller brush. This isn't a smaller brush, but just to line the bottom of my eyes. So I just smoked the bottom of my eyes with that same crease color that we use, and that kind of hides the, the mess with a concealer. Ooh, I found something. I found something I really like. So I found that she bought the Rare Beauty Matte Liquid Liner and 
I cannot not use this. I'm sorry, I have to. And I've never used this before, so it's so curious to see how this does. I have to say I'm not used to the tip. It's very soft. It's like a brush. And so I feel like I'm not doing it properly almost. Like I have a hard time because again, I'm not used to this soft brush tip. So I have to admit, it's not my favorite. It's nice and black, but I have liners from the drugstore that are more black than this. And I'm not used to the wing tip being so brushy like. I kind of like the more stiff kind of brush tip versus the more fluid brush tip. But again, it's just preference. With regards to the color, I think it could be blacker. I think that this one isn't the blackest that I've had before, so... But it's nice. It's just, it's not my favorite. Now we're going to mascara, and she's got the Size Up Mascara by Sephora. I've never tried this either. Not gonna lie, the mascara isn't my absolute favorite. It is nice and natural. That is more of how she likes her lashes to look like. I like a little bit more of a fakey lash. And so um, it's not a bad mascara. And also, I don't know how this wears throughout the day, but my eyelids are really oily and a lot of mascaras don't work at the end of the day for me. It gives you nice length, not so much volume. I found something I really wanted to try. So as I was rummaging through her stuff, I found this. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. And I've never used any Laura Mercier products before. Oh, it's still capped. I need to ask her if I can open it. Can I open this? Okay, she said yes, so I can open it. So it's a nice, like, cool-toned pink. Oh, I act don't actually know if that's gonna work on my skin tone because it looks too light for my skin tone. I don't know, I've never used this before, so we'll use our fingers just so that it won't absorb. Oh, this is a very beautiful, like, natural blush. But it is too light for my skin tone. I am gonna use something else. I do have this one from Sephora. She has the shade English Rose. So I'll use this one instead. And again, I'll use one of my own brushes. I should have let that tinted blush dry a bit before I put the powder blush, but it's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna work with it. I actually like the blush. It's not overly matte. It doesn't take away from the luminosity of the skin, which is what I like. I like matte blushes, but I don't like it when they're too matte that they look dry. Okay, next is bronzer. So I couldn't find a bronzer, but I did find something. So I did find this thing. This is from H&M, and it's like a quad. So she's got a blush in here, a highlighter, and bronzer. And the highlighter is completely broken, but we're gonna have to use that later because I don't think she has any highlighters in here. So we're gonna have to use this bronzer right here. I'll be using one of my e.l.f. brushes and figure out how to... I can't even use the mirror. So we're gonna... Oh! Oh! That's so pigmented. Okay, um... Oh, there you go. Oh, it's actually beautifully blending. It's blending really well. For H&M, they have really good stuff. So maybe I'm just gonna tap it a little. Oh, yeah. Very pigmented, very warm. If you're more of a beginner, you wouldn't want to go with something super pigmented like this. But if you are used to blending and used to making things work, then go ahead and try it. So far, I'm really liking that foundation, that CC cream. My skin looks luminous, it looks healthy. It looks like I'm not wearing foundation, even though the shade is different. Ooh, she's got another bronzing color. This is Natural Glow in One Bondi Bronze. Ooh, ooh. Okay, maybe we can use this one too. It's a loose pigment. I'm gonna try and get from the cap, and I'll see how this one does. Almost the same shade as the H&M one. I like this one, actually. Next is gonna be highlighter because it's cracked. We're gonna have to be careful with it. She doesn't have any highlighter, so I have to use the cracked one from H&M in that little triad thing. I can't pick up too much because it is broken, so... Oh, look at that. Do you see that? This is H&M. This is H&M. That's pretty. That's actually, ooh, that's actually really pretty. I don't have to put too much highlighter, but I do love it on the cheeks. I love this color, wow. Beautiful highlighter. I don't know if you can see it on camera because I actually can't see myself in the viewfinder since I don't have my glasses on, so. But I like it, I really like it. Way to go H&M, you're doing really good. So my camera died again, so I went ahead and put the false lashes and I'm using the Ardell Wis Demi Wispies. Okay, my skin is looking amazing, I have to say. I. Did not expect this from a CC cream that 
is not in my shade. So I'm gonna take this palette again and I'm gonna put a that really beautiful champagne color in the inner corner of my eye as a highlight. I'm gonna use my fingers because you can do that. Oh wow. I am really amazed by this palette. This is a beautiful palette. Okay, last but not least. Oh, last but not lips. Last but not least is the lips. Now she has a lot of lip of lip what of lip products and I have to choose one. I'm thinking I want to go with red because I never do red and she loves red. So we'll see if I can pull a red from her kit. Found it. So I knew it. She has a bunch of reds. So she has a lip liner in red. She also has this new L'Oreal lipstick, which is also in red, and a Stila liquid lipstick in red. And to be honest, I kind of want to use the Stila one because it's more of like this fiery, bright red, and I'm feeling that right now. So we're going to go and define our lips with the H&M Lip Definer in the shade Simply Red. And we'll see how this one looks. I'm pretty sure the reds she has a little bit more cool tone, but we'll see how that one fares with the look. I don't usually do um, lip pencils, but with colors that like are red or dark, it would be wise to use a lip pencil. And I actually really enjoy the lip pencils by H&M. Essence, H&M, Rimmel, they have good lip pencils. And they're not expensive. This one is nice, it's creamy enough, but it's not too creamy that you think it'll move around. It's a very cool tone red, so we'll see how that one will work with this, which is honestly almost like an orangey red. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beso. So we'll try this. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's a difference in shade there, but we'll work with it. Wow. Oh wow, that's a gorgeous red. So I'll just take the lip definer and just like fix, fix some things. I kind of screwed up this part of my lip, but it's fine, we'll work with it. Wow, this um, this Stila one, I didn't realize how good it feels. It's so light and it's so matte, but it's not drying and it's not sticky. Feels good. I'm so curious how my lips will feel throughout the day in this. And um, wow, I, I love the color. The color looks great. And finally, the Tower 28 SOS Spray. I'm still shocked she has this because I doubt she ever uses this. So now my face is looking extra dewy. I'll just let this dry a little bit and then we'll catch back with what we hate and what we love. Okay, everyone, there you have it. This is the final look I used using products that are not mine. They were all my sister's products from her kit that I've never really rummaged through before. Okay, we'll begin with standout products. Definitely this CC cream. I am in love with how this looks on me. I'm just curious to see how it wears throughout the day, but I have heard good things about this one, and I love how it gives that beautiful glow to the skin. I thought this was matte, but it's not. It says oil-free matte, but I don't think it's matte. It looks like a your skin but better type of foundation, and I can't wait to see it in maybe my shade. I kind of want to buy this, to be honest with you. Another standout product is the eyeshadow palette from Flower Beauty. This is in Gimme Gold. The colors here are beautiful. The formula is so smooth. The shimmers are shimmering. The mattes are easy to blend and so pigmented. I love this one. I am going to continue to borrow it because these are the shades I typically go for. Another standout product is the H&M highlighter. I love the highlighter. I think it looks beautiful. It's not like super shimmery. It's more like a glow lit from within type of highlighter. And to be honest, I don't know if they sell this quad anymore or this triad. This is in the shade Rose Dawn. This is a Rose Dawn face palette. If they don't, I will link an alternative down below in the description. But wow, I love this highlighter. I also really like the brush that I used for my brows and that was also from H&M. And finally, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, sorry, Liquid Lipstick. This is so nice. I love this color. This is in the shade Beso. And I love the color. It feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel drying. I'm also curious to see how this wears throughout the day because it's not sticky. It's, I really like this one. And I, I think it looks good with my whole look today. The Dip Brow Pomade. I mean, do we have to even say it? 
course, this is a standout product. This is like the OG brow product in the makeup industry. So, okay, and then not so great product, but they're not like bad. First one is this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. Maybe it's just because of the shade. It just looks so pale. And I thought it was gonna look a little bit more brightening, more pigmented, but it's so pale. And when you blush it out or like dab it, it just disappears. Okay, camera dive for the third time, going back before it dies for a fourth time. Next is the Revlon Candid Concealer. But to be honest, I don't know if it's the concealer or if it's the concealer with the powder because the concealer was already looking funky as I was putting it. It was like clinging onto my dry patches in my under eyes, which was weird. Maybe it just wasn't liking the eye cream that I had on, but it's not supposed to be doing the dryness if I had cream on. So it's just something I'm not happy about. I just know that there's more concealers out there that are better, even from the drugstore. One of them is the Wet n Wild Incognito. That one's pretty good. And lastly, it's the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. I think it's just a preference with regards to the applicator because I like my applicators a little bit more stiff. This is more of a brush fluid stroke and I think the blackness of it is nice but I think it could be even blacker. One of my favorites is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black. That one's a very black liner and it's from the drugstore but I do love how beautiful it looks and it feels. It's really easy to put the liner on. It's just I'm not used to the applicator. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload and please comment down below what you'd like to see next i do appreciate your subscription i do appreciate you subscribing i am a small content creator and just by you subscribing liking or commenting it's already a big help for me thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye